Compound interest using multipliers. Interest is the extra money the bank gives us for keeping our money in our account. If I put £100 in the bank for a year at 7% interest, at the end of the year the bank will give me an extra £7. And then I'll have £107 in the bank. Compound interest is the extra money I get when I keep my money in the bank for a few years in a row. I put £200 in the bank for two years at 10% interest. How much will I have at the end of two years? First I work out how much will I have at the end of the first year. I'll have £200, which I originally had, plus an extra 10%. 10% 10 of 200 is 20. 200 plus 20 is 220 pounds. So at the end of the first year, I've got 220 pounds. How much will I have at the end of the second year? Well, I'll have 220 pounds plus 10 percent of 220 pounds, which is 22. Notice I worked out 10 percent of 220 because that's how much I've got in there now, not the original 200. 220 plus 22 is 242 pounds. £360 for two years at 4% interest. I can do this using multipliers. If I want to increase by 4%, I multiply by 1.04. So to work out how much I've got in the end of the first year, I do 360 times 1.04 and that's equal to £374.40. And then I can work out how much will I have at the end of the second year. I've got £374.40 in there at the moment. I need to add on an extra 4%. That means times in by 1.04. £374.40 times 1.04 is £389.376. As it is money, I round off to two decimal places. £560 for two years at 7% interest. Again, it's quicker to use multipliers. To increase something by 7%, I can multiply by 1.07. At the end of the first year, I'll have £560 times 1.07 equals £599.20. To work out what I've got at the end of the second year, I take what I've got in there now, which is £599.20, and increase by 7%. To increase by 7% using multipliers, times by 1.07 again. Notice I've used £599.20, not the original £560. And I end up with £641.144. It's money, so I round off to two decimal places, £641.14. Now there's an even quicker way to do it using multipliers. If I put £290 in the bank for two years at 6% interest, and I want to know how much we'll have at the end of two years. I want to start off with £290, increase by 6%, and then increase by 6% again. That's £290 times 1.06 times 1.06 again. So I can do it all in one go. And the final answer is £325.844. It's money, so I'm going to round off to two decimal places. Here's another example using the quicker method. I put £460 in the bank for two years at 8% interest. How much will I have at the end of two years? To increase something by 8% using multipliers, I multiply by 1.08. I'll need to do this twice. So I can start off with 460 
times by 1.08 times by 1.08 and that equals 536.544 money so round off to two decimal places and there's an even quicker way to do it using multipliers put £710 in the bank for two years at 3% interest to increase something by 3% using multipliers, I times by 1.03. And I need to do this twice. So I could do 710 times 1.03 times 1.03. But there's a quicker way to write times 1.03 times 1.03. And that's times 1.03 squared. 710 times 1.03 squared is 753.239. And we round off to two decimal places because it's money. I put £260 in the bank for three years at 5% interest. How much will I have at the end of three years? To increase something by 5% using multipliers, I multiply by 1.05. So I could do 260 times 1.05 times 1.05 times 1.05. But there's a quicker way to do it. 260 times 1.05 cubed. And that's equal to 300.9825. And we round it off to two decimal places because it's money. I put £171 in the bank for five years at 2% interest. Now I could do 171 times 1.02 times 1.02 times 1.02 times 1.02 times 1.02 but the quicker way to do it is 171 times 1.02 to the power 5. That's equal to 188.797817 and we round it off to two decimal places because it's money.